In this video, I'm going to be talking all about and reviewing Cafe Bustillo. I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of it. I'm going to talk about what you can expect in terms of, of taste, what I think, some pros, some cons about it. I'm going to talk about what sort of beans are, are in it. Um, I'm going to talk about what it's available in. And I'm going to be talking about uh, the cost and how much you should expect to pay for your coffee Bustillo. And before we get deep into it, I am Joe with Joe Picks Joe. And these reviews, if this is your first time around this channel, I don't give a pretentious review at all. I don't know what flavor notes are. All I know is, is this coffee good? Is it bad? Is it bitter? Does it make my tummy feel good? Or does it make it feel bad? Now let's get into it. Just talking a bit about the history of Cafe Bustel. So I'm always interested in what, uh, where, the, where coffee came from and what sort of uh, culture is behind it. Well, back in 1917, uh, Giorgio Bustello moved to New York City, more specifically the Bronx from Cuba. 11 years later in 1928, he started a uh, coffee company named after himself, Cafe Bustello, his last name. Back then, it was very popular with the Cuban community. And even today, it's still very popular among the Hispanic community. I'm not sure exactly why, maybe it's the, the strength of the coffee. If you know why, please do let me know. But today, it's very much known for its very distinctive, like this, this yellow, blue, and, and red packaging. Like when you notice this online or on the shelf at the grocery store, like this stands out, very distinctive. And it is now owned, Cafe Bustello, uh, started off by Giorgio Bustello in the, in the late 20s, uh, but it's now owned by G, GM Smucker Company, uh, which is a large company behind other brands like um, Jif Peanut Butter and Pillsbury, Pillsbury Company. Whenever I think of Pillsbury, I think of Pillsbury Doughboy. Those, <laughs> those like really old commercials. I don't think they make those anymore, do they? And Pillsbury says it is. <laughs> now let's talk about the beans. What can you what can you expect? So this has a combination of arabica and robusta beans, and uh, robusta. It's very familiar or it's very common to find in espresso type coffee, like like this cafe uh, Bustello is. Um, they only make up like 30% of the actual coffee market, these Robusto beans. Uh, they're generally cheaper and they have like a heavier, sort of earthier type of taste. And they also have more caffeine. So it is a great to use in espresso type coffee that is dark roasted and you're looking for those type of flavors. And in terms of availability, I've seen this online. Uh, I'm in Canada, so our options are extremely limited. Uh, but I have seen online that you can get these in tins, you can get these in plastic containers, you can even get these in K-cups, uh, Nespresso pods, and of course, the brick. And I always like the brick. I like just the feel of it in my hand. It's always kind of neat. I know a lot of people, it just kind of comes off as like looking cheap or whatever, but these, these vacuum sealed bricks, I like these a lot. I like them a lot. It keeps, them, keeps the grounds nice and fresh and it's just kind of fun to hang on to and when you open it up and it starts expanding, it's, it's just kind of fun. I like this. Give it to me. Uh, but in terms of cost, uh, this is one a big advantage to, for this coffee is just the low cost. So online I found costs as little as uh, 42 cents an ounce or 50 cents a K cup, which is on like the mid to lower side. You can get as low as like 30 cents a K cup if you get those Amazon brands up to like a dollar a K cup, with like the more premium, like the like the Pete's or the Starbucks. But 50 cents a K cup, that's a pretty decent deal. Okay, so enough talking about it. Uh, let's dive in and let's taste it. So I'm gonna be making this with just a standard reusable K cup and a K classic. Uh, I know this isn't the proper way to make it. So if you comment below, say, no, oh, that's not the proper way to make it. I know, I know. I'm just doing this very simply uh, just for this review. I just want to get a taste of it. What I'm going to be doing in the next couple of days, more, when you're watching this, more likely that the video is already going to be out. So I'm going to put a card up there and a link down below. I'm going to be actually making this with a, with a mocha pot. So if you're interested to learn how to make Cafe Bustello or any, any, or any espresso, uh, check out the video that I'll link down, uh, me making it with a, um, with a mocha pot. But for now, I'm gonna be making it with a reusable cake cup. Mm. First impressions from that smell. Oh, that smells good. I really wish you could smell this. 
Okay, I can't just smell it all day. I actually have to make it. All right, here we go. So one thing to note is that this is an extra fine grind. Um, so it's not ideal for a uh, drip coffee machine like the Keurig is. It's more suited for like a mocha pod or an actual espresso machine. Uh, so, and this is a K Classic, so it doesn't have some fancy features like uh, the K Mini Plus does or some of the K, uh, the Keurig 2.0s. So it doesn't have like that strong um, button to slow down the, the, the water going through. So what I did was I packed it in as tightly as I can to try to extract as much flavor from these coffee beans as possible. So again, I know this is not gonna be ideal, but uh, uh, I just wanna get a good idea of, uh, of the flavor and the taste. So first impressions right out of the gate, just by the, the pure aroma that, that filled up the kitchen, it's strong. Uh, it's gonna be a strong tasting drink. And that's exactly what you want in an espresso dark roasted bean. So we're already off to a good start. Uh, let me taste it, I put it, or let me put, I transfer it over to the glass so you can see just kind of how dark it is and I'll show up a picture. Just, it looks delicious. All right, enough talking, it's time to try it and I'll give you my uh, first impressions. Whoa, <clears throat> that's strong, that's strong. That's got a really good kick to it. It's like a really smooth, uh, bold kick to it. If you don't like bold coffee, you're gonna hate this. You're gonna hate this. Um, or you need to uh, water it down a lot more, use less ground, use more water. But this is gonna be really great because of these bold, smooth flavors in this. Uh, it's going to be great for making specialty drinks at home, like a latte or a, a cappuccino or something that calls for an espresso and some sort of combination of milk or cream. It also doesn't have like a burnt aftertaste. It just tastes bold and smooth and it's just, yeah, it's just good. Like it's a really good. And especially when you compare it to some other premium brands like, uh, like uh, comparable um, Gervalia or a Starbucks, like this is right on par with them. And when you look at the cost of this, especially relative to some of those more premium brands, uh, this is kind of a no brainer. I, uh, I would absolutely recommend this. So that's my review of the Cafe Bustello. Have you ever tried it? Let me know what you think of it. I would love to hear. Where I bought mine, I bought on Amazon. It arrived, I think, the next day or in two days. So I definitely recommend picking up in Amazon. I did want to mention one thing that I didn't mention in cost. Uh, some other people, I'm in Canada, so it's not available in the grocery stores. Uh, but some people in this US have mentioned that they did find it a little bit cheaper in the grocery stores. So if you could find it for a little bit less money, especially if this starts becoming like your go-to everyday brew, um, definitely look in the grocery store, see if you can find it for a little bit less, uh, less money. But if you can't, or if you live in a rural area where it's hard to find or a different country, I'll link to it down below where you can find it. I'm Joe with Joe Picks Joe. Comment below, subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.